There is a big announcement in the NFL. Yeah, it, it was sort of expected. Yeah. So this is not like... Uh, but it's official. You know when CNN or Fox News says, breaking news, and it's like, is it really breaking news if you knew it? Not really. But the Pittsburgh Steelers have made it official that Russell Wilson will be starting... Game one, week one for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we all figured that. A lot that of was, pressure, though. Yeah. A lot of pressure because if he slips even just a little bit, you know what's going to happen. Yeah. How how uh, how much leeway? How long? How how far of a leash does uh, Mike gotta, Tomlin have on his quarterback situation? You got to stick with your starting quarterback because it just makes you look like a wavering coach. But did, is it a like? This is a three-week commitment, <laughs> and then we reassess. Is it week to week? When you name someone a starter in a quarterback battle, if you watch the Joe Montana docu-series, which is fantastic. I believe it was on Peacock? I think so, yeah. Cool under pressure. Mm -hmm. You forget that Bill Walsh was like week to week on his feelings about Steve Young and Joe Montana, but to the point where if like someone rubbed them the wrong way, he's like, yeah, we're going to go with Steve Young. Ah, we're going to go with Montana. Ah, we're going to go with Young. And, you know, those are two Hall of Famers. Russell Wilson was on the way, slipped up, and Justin Fields was supposed to be the guy, and it didn't work out in Chicago. So I don't think it's very Montana Young-like, but I do wonder if Russ has a, a bad week or two. You got to give him some grace if he has a bad week or two. You know, he did have a pretty decent season hey, last click, year. Click he on, was doing well. Click on the Steelers real quick. On the Steelers? Yeah, click on the Steelers there. Where do you want me to go? Right there. Okay. I want to see their I want to see their first three or four. Right there. Gotcha. I'm going to see their first couple weeks at the Falcons, Kirk Cousins, good offense. I'm giving them an L. I I don't I don't. Atlanta's going to be good. All right, I don't want to be the guy looking too much. I'm saying you got to give him some grace. All right, at Broncos, his old team, revenge game for Russ, where he's like, yeah, f those guys. Yeah, play plays a big game there. One 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 one. Chargers, they 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 have their home opener at Heinz Field, Chargers. Again, an unknown team. We don't know. So it's it. I I think if then Russ, Colts. if Ru- then the Colts, because Anthony Richardson. What the hell do we know? Then Cowboys. Uh, then so, your Raiders, Danny G. All right. So we're looking at a possible six and six, if you give or take, right? If if you if you, which by the way is the definition of the Steelers, right? A five hundred team in your mind. What would Russ need to do to keep the job? Is it five hundred, or does Russ need to play over five hundred? Well, Tomlin's known for playing over 500, so I think he has to continue that. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, music, what do you think? If, if they are 3-3, three and 2-2, three, two and two, if they're just, you know, again, they lose to the Falcons, but then they beat the Broncos. Then they win their home opener against the Chargers, but then lose to the Colts. If if Russ is playing 500 football, is that not enough? And like, Absolutely enough. It's enough. Oh, for sure, 100%. Because that's really where the Steelers have gotten to at this point, which is, Staying relatively competitive, like they the standard that they're supposed to be winning like twelve and thirteen games every year has been gone since, since Big like ben, yeah. yeah, like Big Ben, Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, like that was when they were still serious playoff contenders. They've almost will. been applauded to by taking mediocre teams and and still uh, finding absolutely. a way to be nine and eight, right? Exactly, and. They've always been known as like a patient organization. So like if Russ is just keeping them competitive enough to where yeah. you look at it and you're like, oh, they're in the wild card hunt. They're not pulling the plug on yeah, that. Yeah, it's big dreaming to expect anything other, as the kiddies would say. Big, big dreaming, bro. No, 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 because <laughs> that's why they hire you, because that's what they expect. So if they give them, if he gives them what they at least expect, then it's success. You know, I, I saw that recently. They were talking about Marcus Stroman on the Yankees. They're like. He's having a really great season, meaning he's doing exactly what they expected him to do. You know, eat up innings. That's what what they expected. They didn't expect him to be a Cy Young caliber pitcher out of nowhere all of a sudden for the Yankees. They expected him to do that. That's successful. They're not expecting, I don't think, Russell Wilson to be uh, leading this team to a, to a ridiculous winning record. I think 500, just above 500, like you said, yeah. Ryan, is, is right where he's going to be at. I, I think it has That's to what's, be... What's expect, you got to be realistic a little bit. Exactly. And like to your to the other side of that is he would have to wildly underperform expectations. Like we're talking, like you said, the six-game mark. They got to be like one in five, yeah. and the offense is scoring like 12 points then a game. Then you make a move. Because they're like, this is so bad, we can't even deny yeah. it. And, and by the way, Marcus Stroman... 
is the definition. I know we're going back to baseball, but the definition of a solid middle of the rotation eat innings guy. He's nine and six with a three eight eight ERA. Like, and if you look at all of his previous seasons, that's exactly what they expected to get from him. So that's he's giving you exactly what you expected. What more could you ask for? That's who you hired. So if you went through the that, Steelers' that was schedule, that's sort of my point. So thank you for taking the bait on that. Yeah, let's take. Let's what are take you a expecting look. from Russell Wilson? That's my point. If he gives you what you expect, then then that's on you. Then good, he did a good job. Wilson needs to take care of the football. He doesn't turn over the ball the way Justin Justin Fields does. Yeah. Exactly, and that's the probably the biggest difference. We know Fields flashes with some glamorous video game type plays but he does turn the ball over a lot. So if Wilson turn, starts turning over the ball, then I think Tomlin will be like, let me go with the upside. 100%. And to your expectations point is like the expectations were completely different in Denver. And that was the problem was he was the guy who they traded all these there draft picks for. Yep. They gave the huge contract to. And the expectations were, dude, you are the man. You got to be an MVP type right. candidate. You got to lead our offense. And then especially when Sean Payton came in and Sean Payton's like, hey, I I coached Drew Brees. I This is how we're going to design the offense to your strengths. We need you leading the way. That's clearly not the case anymore not in Pittsburgh. Anymore. I, mean, look, I mean, Colin, one of the most thought out guys of the game. We're filling in for him. Who doesn't love the herd? Colin took the bait for, oh, all they needed is a quarterback in Denver and it's Russ. It just didn't work out. You're right. The expectation was through the roof. That was the... Denver's defense is elite at the time, and a lot has changed since then. Sure. Um, but I want to take a look real quick again at that schedule, and it really reeks of 500. And you're right. People are unrealistic in certain areas of life. Relationships, work, real estate's a big one. How many times do you see someone, we're looking for our dream home, here's our budget. And you're like, what do you want the realtor to do? Make houses appear out of nowhere? Like, like we're looking for a house that's newly furnished for less than this. Good luck. You, you're not going to go to Pittsburgh and be like, we got an aging quarterback who's not what he was with decent personnel and a good coach. Bring us a Super Bowl. No, you're getting a house that needs a little rehab. You're needing a house that needs a new kitchen. Atlanta, at Atlanta, we're giving them an L, right? We're, we're going to give Kirk Cousins uh, yeah. a win at home in his home opener. Exactly. The Broncos... Bo that's Nicks, his, that's know, his yeah. revenge game. Revenge game, Bo yeah. Nix. So we'll give him a W. Chargers, I'll be nice and say it's their home opener in Pittsburgh. We'll give him a W. We'll be nice. We'll split them, right? Because the next week, they're at Indy, and we're saying, all right, Indy will win. That's two and two. Cowboys and Raiders are the next two games. We'll give him a W and an L. So now we're three and three. Jets and Giants. A W and an L. Yeah. Now you're at four and four. And guess what? The quintessential. You're not making, and Ryan's right. Music's right. You're not making a drastic move on your starting quarterback if you're four and four at that point. Bro, can I keep going? Because that's yeah. almost comical. <laughs> Commanders and Ravens. W L five and now you're five and five. Here's where it gets a little dicey. Cleveland, Cincinnati, Cleveland. Unbelievable. Oh. You might steal one of those. And now I'm looking now I feel like you're looking at six and seven. Then you play the Eagles and Raven. The end of the season and the Chiefs. Oh, and the Bengals. All right. This team looks like they could possibly play five hundred football into the last month or so. Month five games of the year. And then it could fall apart. And then you might see could Justin Fields salvage this? <laughs> That's the drama to look forward right. to. Russell Wilson was named. What a named tough finish. By the way, can I, can I give you that? The official starting quarterback for the Steelers. Holy crap. If you're a Steelers fan and you're like, well, if we stay 500, listen to their last three games. This is brutal. The last three games where they're going to be fighting for a playoff spot. Tomlin, never under 500. The last three games, Ravens, Chiefs, Bengals. They play the Bengals twice, too, toward the end of the season. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's tough. But the last three weeks in particular, Baltimore, Kansas City, Cincinnati. That is absurd that we talked about it before. Those are your three best AFC teams that are predicted to go to the Super Bowl, and the Steelers have to finish against those in December. As, uh, <laughs> as they said in uh, the movie Taken, good luck. Good luck. But also, again, it's a lesson of a lesson of expectations. 
You know, how many women uh, marry a schlub and then they expect some dude to be a Mr. Universe? Like, yeah. He's a schlub when you met him. How could you have all these expectations for the guy? Yeah. He was an average fella. You know, that's really what it comes down to. What are the expectations for Russell Wilson? They're not what they used to be. If he delivers a little over 500, that's all you expect, and he's doing his job. They're not going to make a move. If you Can I offer a counterpoint here, fellas? Yeah, sure. please do, Tui. What here? up, Tui? Okay. You were just talking about last year, the expectations in Denver. Yeah. When he got benched last year in Denver, what do you think their record was? Oh, good point. Uh, it wasn't as awful as you think, right? What, maybe what? Seven and eight. Se- okay. Teetering close to 500. The problem with this is with Russ, they could be 500, but what if he looks awful and their defense is carrying them? You know the fans in Pittsburgh are going to go crazy. You got to get bench him. You got to bench him. He, he, there were times when the Broncos were like a three and out machine. You don't think you're you going to hear that anyway, You watch some of those games where it was like, three now, three now. You're like, what? They can't, well, they're not even moving the ball. Dude, you're going to hit, look, Russell Wilson comes with that stigma anyway where people are going to want to be quick to hate on him because of his personality. Mr. <laughs> Unlimited. I, I think he, he's going to get that regardless. I really do. You know, that, that's the tough part of, of dealing with a guy like this. One last question, because what I hear from all of you is that it's pretty much going to be the same team. And as far as the quarterback position goes, it was almost like a lateral move. So why did they trade Kenny Pickett to the Eagles? Are you saying Russell Wilson is that much better than than Pickett? I, I think he hmm. – I, I would say I don't, I don't hear so. that from any of maybe, you. Maybe just based on what he's done, but maybe currently – I don't – I think they knew that Kenny Pickett wasn't going to be the, guy. the, the first-round franchise home, guy. Hometown guy, though. And did they really give but him a fair shake? But I think that, that ended up working against them. Like, they had to be like, we can't keep dragging this out and letting people hope that the hometown kid's going to save yeah. us and take us to where we want to go because we're not seeing it. So Kenny we Pickett, might as well cut bait. Kenny Pickett wasn't winning a Super Bowl for the for the Steelers. I think that was did a general sentiment. But you're saying Russell Wilson but, isn't either. No, I don't think he is, but I think that they're like there's like a more of an odd hope. Like, what what if Russ has some like, yeah. you know, you've at least Russ, seen you know? Russ do it. <laughs> yeah. It may have been almost a decade yeah. ago now. But you've at least seen him do it, whereas Kenny Pickett, I think they were like, "Oh boy, the Pittsburgh kid ain't ain't taking us to the promised land." Yeah, and Kavino's right. There's a lot. If Russ struggles, people love to pick on Russ. And by oh, the way, yeah. have you ever had the Danger Witch at Subway? No, I've never <laughs> had no, it. No, no, no. But no. you know what? We could try one. <laughs> Are they still around?